In the air fryer. In the air fryer? In the air fryer. Sometimes you just don't think about using your air fryer for certain things, and that's what this video is about. Whether you're new to your air fryer or you've been using it for a while, hopefully you're gonna find something new to make in it this week. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. One of our favorite lunches slash snacks in this house are pizza roll-ups. I've made them in the past. I basically put use mozzarella, cheese sticks, pepperoni, and put it inside of a crescent roll, roll it up, and put it in the oven. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. It's different, but the same. These are called air fryer pizza bombs. For this recipe, it's gonna be best if you get the Grand's Flaky Layers. It's gonna make it the easiest because you want to separate each biscuit. There's eight of them in here. We're gonna be making 16 of these. Have you ever had a point in your life where you were scared to open up a can of biscuits? Because I have. But now, I've learned the trick. Now, every now and then it'll surprise you when you pull this and it'll just pop open. But usually it doesn't. And then I just pop it on the seam on the countertop like this. And now I ain't scared. Are you scared? Let me know. So like I mentioned, we're gonna be separating these out into two, not into two. We're gonna separate each biscuit in half. That's what I mean. Okay, we have 16. Now you could definitely use miniature pepperoni if you wanted to. Otherwise, you're gonna need about 32 slices of pepperoni and you're gonna split them into quarters. Now I'm gonna grab my mozzarella cheese and you could probably use shredded mozzarella if you wanted to. I'm just gonna kinda do the same thing. Just chop this up. I need to get my air fryer preheating. So let me go grab my air fryer. I keep mine in my pantry. Where do you keep your air fryer? I wanna know. The author of this recipe stressed that you don't want to put these biscuit bombs or these pizza bombs in a cold air fryer. So we're gonna preheat it to 350. Take about a couple of pepperoni basically. So what is that, eight pieces? And put it in the middle. I will put probably two. I don't know how many slices of mozzarella I have, but we're gonna go with two. We're gonna fold up the edges of the biscuit so that the pepperoni and the cheese is in the middle. And then it's a little, it's a little ball. So you can kind of shape it a little more, but you just wanna make sure that you close this in and kind of pinch it so it's not gonna leak out. Okay, one down, 15 to go, my friend. While I am rolling these up, I'm slowly making my way. I'm gonna melt about a fourth a cup of butter or half a stick of butter in the microwave. Have you ever been to the grocery store and you look at the organic section and you are just horrified at the selection or lack thereof and at the prices? Enter. Thrive Market. Thrive Market is a membership-based online grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everybody. If you are trying to make healthier choices, and so you migrate over to that organic section, and you don't really know what you're looking for, there's not a lot of choices, if you just go to thrivemarket.com and search all of their choices, which includes thousands of the best selling organic foods and products, you're gonna save money because you're not gonna have to go out everywhere looking for it. You're gonna have more options and it's cheaper on Thrive Market. And if for any reason you find a product that's not cheaper with Thrive Market, they will match the price. So in order to get those savings, you do have to be a member of Thrive Market. You can choose to do it month to month and it's $12 a month or you can do like we do and just get the annual membership, which is billed annually at $59.95, but that comes out to five bucks a month. On this order alone, I saved almost $50. But let's say at the end of the year, you bought the annual membership and you didn't save the $60 that you paid for the membership, they will credit you the difference. So when you go onto Thrive Market, you can filter through all of their products. You can just search the whole store, or if you have health restrictions or you're on a specific diet, you can filter their products so it will only show the things that are applicable to you. I have so many favorites, favorite snacks, favorite pantry items, and then I also love to try a lot of new things, and I like looking at the reviews and seeing what others say about it. It's really cool. So if this sounds good to you, if you are ready to make some healthier choices, go check out Thrive Market. Just go to thrivemarket.com slash Mandy in the making, and you're gonna save 30% on your first order, plus you're gonna get a free gift. And that free gift, my friends, is worth up to $60. So head over to thrivemarket.com slash Mandy in the making and save today. Okay, I had a lot of mozzarella left over, which I mean, I ain't hating. I can, you know, quality control. 
Mm -hmm. My butter is not completely melted, but it's close enough. Let's throw some garlic powder in with our butter. Some Italian seasoning. We're gonna brush this over our biscuit. No, I keep saying biscuit. I mean, they are biscuits, but our pizza bombs. We're gonna brush this over the top here in just a second. Let me go grab my air fryer basket because it is ready. I got a crumb on there. There we go. Let me spritz this with a little bit of oil. Oil. Use my little spritzer. And I may have to work in batches I'm not sure, but we need to make sure there's a little bit of air flow in between each one. So let's see how many we can fit. Come on, man. It ain't going to work. Yeah, it ain't going to work. Okay, I have three whole ones left over. Let's brush it with a little bit of butter. These smell so good already. Okay, these are going in the air fryer at 350 for five or six minutes, just until they are golden brown and cooked through. <gasps> Stop it right now. Oh my goodness. Why am I drooling? Like, legit salivating over here. Let's go. I don't even want to tell the guys about it. I want it all to be mine. I also warmed some pizza sauce for dipping. Oh gosh, I wish y'all could smell this. How's it going? Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> don't it? Yeah. Oh, we down. Good too. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Mm. We're down to one piece of power. So one we'll piece be, of power. Oh, we'll be right back. We're about to lose. We're about to lose you. We're fading. Ah! What are you doing? I'm getting mine saucy. Tag them caveman. It's like a pizza surprise. You bite into it, you got the mozzarella cheese and some pepperoni. That fr fresh mozzarella, that's where it's at. And then the air fryer goes off. Yeah. I've got the other three in there. This is absolutely delicious. The little buttery mm. topping, mm, so good. With the outside. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. Did you know that you can bake potatoes in your air fryer? I didn't even know it was a thing. I need to test this. I just washed these potatoes, I'm drying them now. I am gonna poke some holes in mine because I feel like you should. I don't want an explosion, so let's do that. I usually, okay. I usually do a couple on each side. And I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil on them, kind of rub it all over and pop them here in the air fryer. You could probably get up to four of them in here at once. And I need to salt and pepper them. So let me wash my hands. They're slippery little boogers. I'm not big on eating the skin of the potato. Do you eat the skin of your potato? I wanna know. Cole loves it. Steven and I could live without. That's as hard as it gets. I'm gonna pop these in the air fryer at 400 for 30 minutes, and then we'll take them out and turn them and do another additional 10 to 15 minutes just until they're done. So simple. But, but please, there we go. I'm gonna guess they're gonna need closer to 15 more minutes. So I'm gonna put them back in at 400 for 15 more minutes. I'm gonna do a plate bowl, bowl plate whatever this is. I mean, it's a baked potato. We know what it tastes like, but let's see if the texture and all of that, if this was the appropriate amount, appropriate, appropriate amount of time and what we feel like the texture is, okay? Whew, takes me back to my fish camp days. They used to make us pucker the potato before we took it out. They don't do that at the fish camp now, probably because I had calluses on these four fingers. It would scorch my fingers. Let me fill it with all the stuff that I like. What toppings do you like on your baked potato? Okay, so far I've got butter and sour cream in there. And what I'm doing, I almost make mashed potatoes when I do my baked potato. And then I'm gonna add some cheese to mine and we've got bacon bits too. Hey, I chopped up a little green onion. Gonna add that to it. The texture seems really good. What do you think? Yeah, I think it turned out really good. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get salt and pepper and then we're gonna eat. He's back there taking a picture of his tater. Whenever I had baggy pants, my dad would say, you got a tater in your britches. I still say it to him now. He'll walk around here and he won't have his belt on and I'll say, you got a tater in your britches. Uh, Gracie Lou, you know well, we got the cheese out. I can already tell that this is going to be delicious. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not going to taste any different, but no, the texture. The texture. That's yes. the thing. He's so picky about it. He does not like yeah. potatoes in the Instant Pot. The texture seems 
perfect nice. and it only took 45 minutes versus in the oven it's an hour sometimes an hour and a half perfection yeah that's really good it's done all the way yeah then there's no like you know you put it in the microwave sometimes the ends get hard in it there. Like, yeah it kind of shrivels up and that's weird happen with this air fried potatoes yeah. is where it's at for sure or tell me do you already do that am i late to the train you're late i'm sure i am I'm gonna take a break and eat this tater. Can't believe this is like in the air fryer. <laughs> Cheese. There you go. We're gonna do cauliflower in the air fryer, but then, but then, we're gonna level it up and you'll see what I mean. But at the end, we're gonna take it to the next level. That was Steven's idea. He gets credit for that. But let's get started. First things first. I'm gonna go preheat my air fryer. You're gonna preheat it to 380. One head of cauliflower. That's a lot of cauliflower though. That was a big head. It's okay, we're gonna work with it. We got some olive oil. We need about three tablespoons. Good bit. We wanna get it all kind of coated in there. Okay, we need a couple of teaspoons of lemon juice. And let me go grab my seasonings. What happened here? Mandy happened here. There we go. Smoked paprika, garlic powder, and some salt and pepper. Okay, those are good and seasoned. I didn't wash it after doing the baked potatoes because it really wasn't that messy. But let's dump this in. I'm gonna try to get it spread out as much as possible, but it's impossible for this to be in a single layer because there's so much cauliflower. We're gonna cook this for probably 10 minutes and then we'll shake it like half the way through this is going in at 380 for about eight to ten minutes while that is in the air fryer we're going to take it to the next level when it comes out we're going to toss it in a sauce a sauce that we're going to make right now i've never attempted to make this before so if it doesn't turn out great but if you have a bojangles near you if you don't know what Bo bojangles is it's a fast food chicken restaurant that almost tried to kill me one time. I got severe food poisoning from an undercooked chicken biscuit from there. But they have a newer dipping sauce there called creamy buffalo sauce and it is so so good. So I looked up a recipe. We're gonna give it a shot. We need some buffalo sauce. This is the Frank's Red Hot. Okay there's measurements on the side of this. Three tablespoons is not quite a fourth a cup so Let's go with it. We're gonna add a fourth a cup of mayo. That's gonna give us our creaminess. And then just about a teaspoon of honey. Let's stir that up. Or attempt to, come on, man. Cooperate. I'm scared I'm gonna spill it on that. I'm serious, like, serious over here. Mandy, I have problems. Oh, I need to shake this. Just so you know, I'm over here shaking my cauliflower. I was gonna get a paper towel. Squirrel, we're gonna taste test. That is not half bad. It's not quite the same. Honestly, I think it needs a little more hot sauce. There's just a little bit left in here anyway, so. If you like a little more spicy, am I making messes again? I would do equal parts mayo and hot sauce. I mean, that's just pretty. So let's just drizzle a little bit over and we'll toss it. What you think? I think it looks good. I'm ready to try it. Okay, give me some forks. Right. Oh, wow. Y'all. Oh, yeah. Give me that. <laughs> There's no other cauliflower that's better than this right here. Really good sauce. The buffalo it's got, sauce? It's got the spiciness in it. Got that creamy sort of flavor. Yeah. If you don't like cauliflower, you might actually like this. Mm. That would be good for coating wings in that. Yeah. If you like a little bit of spice but you want to tone it down a little bit make that sauce and coat some wings you can do your air you can do wings in the air fryer mm. too just so you know if you don't know already wings in the air fryer are like the best wings there are i'm really blown away that that's cauliflower that is cauliflower and it tastes that good so tell me below which of these three mm. are you going to try in your air fryer first also don't forget to go check out thrive market just go to thrivemarket.com slash mandy in the making and when you join today you're going to save 30 percent on your first order plus you're going to get a free gift worth up to 60 dollars. all right y'all that's it from me and commentator that is it <laughs> we're going to see y'all next time bye bye